Hey, my beautiful Geminis, how are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I'm so happy and excited to have you all here today. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Ria and I do these readings every week. Now, Geminis, this is a general reading, so I do please ask that you take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And if any one of you are interested in a personal reading with me, my information is in the description box below for you. All right, I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck and we're going to find out what message spirit guides have for you and what your present situation is. So let's take a look. Wow, okay, we are getting the seven of cups here, Gemini. We are getting the lover's card and we're getting the fool hole card. So look at that, my beautiful friends. So Seven of Cups, I feel there are some choices. The universe is presenting you with multiple opportunities, right? Some of you have been manifesting um, Geminis. I'm also a Gemini and I have been manifesting and I've had multiple opportunities come in where I'm having to make choices. And um, a lot of these opportunities are about balance and really bringing harmony into your life and what's going to work for you. And you've thrown this net um, out into the universe here, Gemini, and the universe has kind of brought this net back in and there's all different kinds of opportunity that, opportunities that are flowing into your life. So for me, I've been, gosh, that there's so much going on. I've even had job opportunities come in, right, where I'm having to decline some of them because they're just not aligned to my path. And these are things that I once used to do that I no longer want to do because I'm here in front of you doing this, right? So there's lots of options coming in for you, Geminis. And look at this. We've got the lover's card. For some of you, there's love opportunities coming in, especially if you've been manifesting someone to not someone, but if you've been manifesting love into your life, I feel there is love coming into your life. I do feel there is a soulmate energy here. Look at this. You've got other opportunities coming in, but there is a soulmate, someone special, someone that is going to make you feel good, that is going to love you the way that you have been desiring, or the way you have been yearning for and longing for. Okay, so that is coming into some of you Geminis. Um, the universe is presenting you with opportunities here and you know spirit guides really want you to focus in on higher self choices gemini and really focusing in on what is going to benefit you what is going to make you feel good i feel for a lot of you you are trying to walk down this path you're releasing energies that no longer serve you so now you've got all these brand new opportunities and spirit guides really want you to focus in on uh, long-term goals here and not short term and try to pick things out that are going to um be like again higher self choices things that are more aligned to the path that you're walking down on just because you're being presented with opportunities doesn't mean you just take them right um especially if they don't benefit you right so this is what i'm getting here with the seven of uh cups here so with the lover's card i do feel for some of you you are um pulling love into your life. Some of you even made a list, right? So those of you that have made a list for a soulmate to come into your life, this is your soulmate coming in here, my friends. So you are attracting this energy into your life. For some of you, this could be deep connections. These could be partnerships. Um, also choices. You're getting double choice cards here. The lover's card can be choices. And this is a choice that has to do with your heart. What are you passionate about? What do you love doing? This could be life related, right? You're trying to walk down this path that is more aligned to your journey, your soul journey. And some of us are coming into this place place or waking up to um, who we truly are. What is it that we truly want with our life? What path do we want to walk down now, right? So we're looking at realistic choices, realistic um, life values and morals. And this is where this alignment comes in and where you're going to have to make that choice about what you're truly passionate about that you're going to love to do, right? And for those of you, again, spirit guides want you to know that love offers are going to come in, um, in different ways, you're going to bump into somebody. There's this energy about you, Gemini, that you are attracting uh, multiple people into your life. And again, this doesn't necessarily have to be love. I do feel there is a lot of love coming in. But this is uh, connections, deep connections and bonds that you are going to build. And I feel for you, um, 
these are opportunities, especially those that are looking for a career opportunity to come in that you have been looking for for quite some time. It's coming in in a big way here, okay? You've thrown that big net out and now the universe is pulling it all in. And that is especially for you. And again, higher self choices are what you need to make at this time, especially because um, you're going to have choices that are coming in that aren't aligned to your path, right? And here it's because... Uh, you've thrown this big net out and the universe has pulled everything that's in that net that was in, in that vicinity of the net being thrown out, um, that it's pulling it all in. And with the Fool card coming in, this is a brand new adventure for you. This is where you are now focusing in on balancing out your life, right? You're on this new path. You have no idea what is going to come forward. You don't know where this is going to go, but you're excited. You want this new life. You wanted this new path. You wanted this new love. You have no idea where it's going to go, but know that it is, it's, it's a freeing energy. It's an energy where you can kind of create your life, right? So spirit guides really want you to focus in on Gemini's um, not to focus in on but more so to gain clarity of where this path is it's the unknown there's going to be its own um, you know its own obstacles and struggles that are kind of going to come through here with whatever it is that you're wanting to do whatever choices you're going to have to make right every action every choice has an action I've been doing so many readings today that <laughs> I can't even talk anymore. I feel that every action has a consequence. So there's a ripple, a ripple effect and things pan out. So no matter what choice you make, it's going to have a different uh, uh, consequence, right? And these consequences are e either good or bad. And you're not going to know that you're on this brand new adventure. And I feel for you, you are well equipped. You've already gone through those life experiences where they, where you are able to handle anything that the universe can throw at you. Okay. You have, uh, you have life experience and that is your biggest, uh, superpower here, Gemini. So I feel for you, uh, especially those that have been looking for love, it is definitely coming in for you to be aware to be open and, uh, yeah, open-minded. I feel this is somebody that is not, um, not who you think it is, okay? I feel this person is different than what you were expecting. This person is um, totally not the type of person that you would normally go for, okay? And I feel being open-minded, allowing yourself to uh, really explore uh, the new relationships that are coming into your life is going to put you on this different path okay uh and i feel for you gemini is that you have been trying to do like switch things up and do things differently so i feel in relationship and the opportunities that are coming in to do just that as well um I do feel this is now some of you are on like dating apps, that sort of thing. But I feel this connection might come through a dating app, but more so like I feel this is a connection where you are this person's already around you. OK, they're they're you've passed them already. I feel very strongly you've passed them going to work. Maybe you were at the coffee shop or at the grocery store. That person was there. I feel this person has noticed you, okay? They have um, made that eye contact with you. You may not have seen it or noticed it, but this person has noticed you, okay? I want you to, I want <laughs> to be very clear about that. The universe wanted me to mention that. And I feel that this person is going to let you know this as well, that you have caught their eye. Okay, so I'm going to pull some more cards and see what is going on. Now we are getting the four of pentacles here. There is the four of swords, okay? And the nine of swords. So Gemini, there's worry in your mind. I feel that you have been manifesting this person into your life, but you're not expecting this to come in, okay? So there's there's that aspect. There's this brand new life that is coming in that the universe is offering to you here in the first three cards. Now, with the second set of three cards, I feel that your focus is more on kind of juggling your finances. You're trying to figure your life out right now financially. And your focus is more on um, 
you know, setting those healthy boundaries, really getting control of your life and uh, setting yourself on a path that is going to work best for you. You're making changes, you're focusing on yourself. And here I think is where um, the universe is working with you is because you have made these changes in your life and you're switching things up and you're really focusing in on making this the best year of your life is uh, where this opportunity is coming in and you're not expecting it. Maybe some of you aren't looking for love, right? I feel for some of you, you are kind of in a place where you are resting your mind, okay, with the four of swords. I've got the nine of swords, lots of sword energy coming in here. Um, you're kind of making space for yourself. You've gone through life where you have had your share of obstacles and anxieties and insecurities and things that you worried about, people pleasing, a lot of it, right? So now you are really taking a break from everyday life and focusing in on yourself, okay? So this is what I'm feeling very strongly here with the Four of Swords. Um, I do feel that you are in this renewal energy where you're trying to renew your mind, body and soul. So you're not, um, you know, as much as you want love to come into your life and you're working on manifesting, writing a journal, making your wish list. Um, you're in that space right now where you're kind of recouping and resting and coming to this place where you can really focus in on yourself and what you truly want and the path that you want to walk down. Okay, this is your current moment. And that's what's coming in. It's so funny. So um, with the nine of swords, I feel that You've gone through a lot of hardships, okay, Gemini, especially with relationships. I feel that people have caused you a lot of grief, a lot of anxiety, a lot of worry, right? So um, it's kept you up at night, right? Um, so with, with that in mind, I feel there needs to be some release of that energy and to work through those emotions. So I feel that you are still going through a healing period right now. As this love is coming in, as these opportunities are coming in and presenting themselves and spirit guides really want you to focus on healing yourself, but not to pass up opportunities that are coming in. And they're not necessarily love opportunities for some of you, Gemini's. These could be other opportunities that are presenting themselves and not to... Um, be in this place where you are focusing too much on the things that have gone wrong in your life, right? All of the, all of the past experiences and you're kind of in this place where you're, you're wanting to get over it, but it's kind of overwhelming. If you understand what I'm saying here, Gemini's, if you're going through that phase where you're kind of like, I've had way too much. I, I don't trust people anymore. I'm just not into relationships. I don't even want to give it a try because it doesn't work. I don't trust anyone. I feel there's that energy there and it's just kind of, yes, your life experiences have taken a toll on you. There have been past relationships and people that you've dealt with that haven't been aligned to your path, uh, toxic energy. So you're kind of working through all of that, releasing that energy but not to close yourself off, right? To work through that and heal yourself, but be open to other things coming into your life here, my friends. So this is what spirit guides really want you to focus in on is to allow yourself to um, release this energy and work through it and heal yourself. This is where the four of swords is coming in to really uh, renew. Maybe you need to go on vacation. Hey, maybe that's where you're going to meet this person, right? Um, to really um, take time for yourself, right? Before you get into something brand new. And it's okay if you wait because the, uh, the opportunities are going to keep coming in here, my friends. Take your time and take care of yourself first. All right. And I feel that you need to get over any kind of past trauma, especially with relationships, any kind of baggage that you're carrying around, any kind of wounds that are still there that need to be healed because you want to be your best self before you move forward in any kind of a relationship, right? So spirit guides really want you to focus in here on uh, really renewing that mind and putting yourself in a headspace where you feel good and you can allow that energy to come in. Um, and be be in that place where you are deserving of love okay I feel for some of you maybe you feel that you don't deserve love right 
and spirit guides want you to know that you definitely deserve love but you have to be in that mind space to allow yourself to accept it right so I feel you're working through that and you're going to do really well but know that there are opportunities coming in for you but you have to be ready to accept them right and you have to go through that healing process in order to uh, move forward with someone that comes into your life so that way you are fully capable of giving someone that love that they also deserve right so that is my message here for you my beautiful gemini's thank you so much for watching if this resonates for you please comment below hit that like button and if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content please consider subscribing other than that i wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching